Hey Tuck followers, Keith here. Today we're gonna be taking a look at the Ghostbed Lux mattress. Now this is Ghostbed's luxury offering. It's a taller memory foam mattress. They've put some cooling materials in the cover to actually help improve temperature neutrality. But how does it stack up to Tuck's tests? Keep watching to find out. Testing the Ghost Bed Lux today, we have Lightweight Sleeper Sid, Average Weight Sleeper Athena, and Heavyweight Sleeper Alandris. To unbox the Ghost Bed Lux, grab a friend and move the box to its final destination. Take the roll packed mattress out of the box, put it on its frame, and remove the plastic. Give it about 24 hours to fully recover. The Ghostbed Lux is a 13 inch memory foam mattress. The cover has a phase change material in the top layer and is quilted with a half inch of fiber padding and one inch of gel memory foam. The comfort layers consist of two inches of gel memory foam over two inches of high density polyfoam. The support core is made up of 7.5 inches of 2PCF high density polyfoam. The Ghostbed Lux comes in at a 5 out of 10 on the firmness scale, making it a medium mattress. This bed has a more traditional memory foam feel, so it uses slower response, higher density memory foams in the comfort layer, which adds contouring and targeted pressure relief. You're gonna feel more like you're sleeping in versus on this mattress. To measure support, we look at the spinal alignment of each of our sleepers when sleeping on their side. As you can see, all three of our sleepers were supported by the Ghostbed Lux. Both our light and average weight sleepers received more support than our heavyweight sleeper. To illustrate motion isolation, we put a water glass on one side of the bed and have a landris move around the opposite side. Given its construction and memory foam feel, the Ghost Bed Lux does a good job of absorbing motion transfer. As you can see, that glass barely moves as the landris puts a lot of force into the bed. Now let's take a look at edge support. Edge support refers to how much a mattress holds you up when sitting on or sleeping close to its sides. As you can see, all three of our sleepers did experience some sinkage when sitting on the edge of the bed. When sleeping close to the edge, all three of our sleepers felt supported and didn't experience that feeling of roll off. All things considered, the Ghost Bed Lux performed better than most of its foam counterparts. Using our 2D and 3D pressure mapping tools, we're able to tell how much pressure the Ghost Bed Lux can relieve from a sleeper's body. All three of our sleepers received adequate pressure relief, but we found that our light and average weight sleepers received better pressure relief than our heavyweight sleeper. Looking at the readings, Alandris did get some pressure on his shoulders, which you can see by the redness. Our lightweight sleeper, Sid, does have some peaking, and this is actually due to a sharp frame and not the mattress. Now let's take a look at temperature neutrality. Memory foam mattresses do tend to trap heat because of those denser, lower response memory foams, and the Ghost Bed Lux is no exception. That said, the PCM and the fiber quilted into the cover do give a layer of insulation and it makes the mattress stand out a little bit above the pack when it comes to temperature neutrality. Now, let's take a minute to check in with our sleepers. Alandris, what'd you think of the Ghost Bed Lux? I really like this mattress, I really do. I felt fully supported from head to toe. I'm a restless sleeper and I feel like I could sleep in the same position in this bed all throughout the night. 
I like several aspects of it. Uh, I think it has just the right degree of firmness for my body weight. It also adjusts quite well to my body contours. It doesn't just have me sinking or anything. But overall, I think it's a good product. Whatever it is that's making it cool, I like the best. Mm -hmm. But it was great for side sleeping. I'm a side sleeper, but on this particular mattress, I think I could sleep on my back, which is really saying something for me. Sleeping close to the edge of the bed and sitting on the edge of the bed, did you feel supported? It was sufficiently firm, I would say. I didn't feel like I would slip or fall off or anything. No iffy roll-off feel. I felt fully supported on the edge, the side, the middle, all over the mattress. Now, how did this bed perform uh, from a temperature perspective? Did it trap body heat or did it sleep fairly cool throughout the night? It was temperature neutral, more or less. I really like the fact that, I, that it was a cooler temperature, especially as I'm getting older and stuff, so I need it in the middle of the night. So that's what I really, really liked about it. It was nice and cool. Nice and cool from beginning to end. Is there anything you didn't like about the bed? I honestly can't think of one thing I don't like about <laughs> this bed, honestly. Thanks so much. All right. Now let's take a look at how the Ghost Bed Lux stacked up in our mattress tests. The mattress has a more traditional memory foam feel, so you're gonna feel more like you're sleeping in versus on the bed. Support was very good for light and average weight sleepers and good for heavyweight sleepers. Motion isolation was very good and edge support was good. Pressure relief was very good for light and average weight sleepers and good for heavyweight sleepers. And lastly, temperature neutrality was good. Here are a couple takeaways based on our mattress testing. The Ghost Bed Lux comes in one firmness, and it's meant to support the majority of sleepers, but if you know you want a particularly firm or a particularly soft bed, you might need to look elsewhere. If you know you like a bouncy inner spring feel, this bed is an all foam bed, so that won't suit your needs. One of the standout features of this bed is the cooling material in the cover, but one drawback of that is that it is pretty slippery, so you might notice your sheets kind of pop off a little more easily on this bed. Stomach sleepers might not find the firmness and support that they need with the Ghost Bed Lux. Here are a few recommendations based on our mattress testing. Couples will appreciate both the motion isolation and the edge support, which is better than other all foam mattresses. Sleepers who tend to heat up at night will appreciate the Ghost Bed Lux. Between the cover and the foams used, it definitely stays much more temperature neutral than your average all foam bed. Side sleepers in general will appreciate the construction of this bed. It does a good job of both conforming but not making you feel like you sink too deeply into the mattress. Light and average weight sleepers will definitely find the support they need in this mattress. Here's some additional information you'll want to know before purchasing the Ghost Bed Lux. It comes with a 101 night sleep trial, ships free in the contiguous United States, and has a 25 year warranty. For up to date pricing and exclusive discounts for Tuck followers, check the description below the video or visit the full written review at tuck.com. That's it for our Ghost Bed Lux mattress review. Please give us a like and subscribe to our channel if you found this helpful. For the full written review, check out tuck.com. If you have any questions about the mattress or you'd like a personalized recommendation, drop a comment below the video. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Don't forget to check us out on social. We're always running great giveaways and we'll keep you up to date on the latest and greatest in sleep news. Sleep well.